Welcome back, everybody. Nope. Today. Nope. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Today, I have the biggest RC plane that I've ever owned. I'm just kidding. Listen, I had a big AL37 airliner, and I totaled it, and everybody wanted me to get a new airliner, so this is what I bought. This is an Amazon special, rated for beginners, super durable. You can see my wings are bending. Kind of looks like that meme of the thing bouncing up and down. Anyway, I had this for a little while. I kind of really like it. Not because of how it flies, but just because of the edits I can do with this thing, which I'll show you right here. Three channel, I don't have a rudder. It uses sequential thrust, so if I go left or right, only one propeller spins. Not the best way to fly, but it does the job. My recommendation is hit the throttle and you'll get a lot more steer out of it, but I'll show you guys that when I'm flying. It has a gyro in it. You can shut the gyro off with a switch of a button. So there it is on. If I hit it, it goes a little more. That's gyro off and this is gyro on. It tries to flip itself back over. Let's get this thing in the air. Let me show you what it does. Airliners are meant to take off. Think we got enough runway here? I'll figure it out. Here we go. Oh, just in time. Fly super slow. This plane, it has to be really calm to fly this thing. Look at that. Kind of screams for a little, uh, a little 1S. It runs on a 280 milliamp 1S. And because it's not that powerful, you should get 10 to 15 minutes of flight out of this thing. If it wasn't for the little screaming, this thing kind of looks like a real plane in the air. Very scale-like. Now look at my hand. I got about three-quarter throttle. I'm just using a little elevator, a little aileron, and I can even let go, and it kind of just holds itself. Let's bring it low so I can get a low and slow flight for you guys. I just want to give this a fair review for you. You know, if you guys are interested in getting one, I'll tell you how I feel about it at the end. But I mean, when it's calm out, it flies really nice. Should I do a durability test? You want me to smack into the house? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Which way are you going? Six. Perfect. You guys want to get one for your kids? You worry about them breaking it? I really doubt you're going to break this thing. It's so light. Again, it needs to be dead calm to fly it. But it flies really well, it looks even better. Let's get one more high pass and we'll bring it in for a land. That's full speed right there. Uh, let's see if I can land this thing on the pavers. Oh, that's a typical land of mine. Anyway, my honest opinion on this, if you guys are looking to get a beginner plane, my recommendation is always stay with a four channel. Even though this is a good flyer, it's not going to teach you the full functions because it's only three channel. But if you want something that looks cool, you want to get your kids something to fly and have some fun with, definitely a good plane. I'll link it below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Oh, almost caught it.